playing against the team he loved. And the ball up, Scott Silwood. Wants to shoot a handball out, gets his own ball. Wobbles it to half forward. Contest, Quinton Lynch. Well takes on Hurley. Props, pokes. And LeCroix. Yeah, 38 goals, 16 this year. Amazingly accurate record he's got. And give them another scoring opportunity. Free kick. And it's Lacrasse ball. A break yeah. for the West Coast. And that's, that's what happens in the tackling. Yep. The one bloke you don't want to give the free kick to in the attacking 50s, this fella. He's a beautiful kick of the footy. Let the world know they don't just take into account goals for small forwards. Take into account tackles and all the other things that go with it. And Lacrasse kicks his second. Lynch. Tries to sidestep a couple. Stevenson ducked out of the right of tackle. Waters back to full forward. Guess who? The West Coast Eagles can be five points away. Essendon four goals. Lacroix three. <laughs> Sends it long. Prentice the fly. Gets it. 15 seconds and counting. Lynch and he's within range. Am I being harsh, Hurdy? I'll talk about Chris Marston in a minute. Loads up. Long. Even. Oh, Thank goodness for this bloke. Four goals in the opening term. He has both teams without much confidence. Embley hits wide. Hands. Lynch. Embley, OK. Tries to hit a target. Lacroix again. The West Coast Eagles have seen. For nine points. Gee, that's a beautiful kick. He's done it. That again. is glorious. He has five. Up from full back. Chips it wide, Kennedy, maybe just beyond his range, and he knows it. Play on, play on. You. Pocket Lacroix. Well, he leads there, and he kicks them from there. He's going, going the banana. Him. Yes, he is. Why wouldn't he kick it? Sensational. Oh, oh. He has six. Short pass, terrible. Selwood. And now they're away. Marston. Oh, they can run it all the way here. Prittis could kick the goal. He gets it for a strike. He lines it up from 50, decides no Lacroix. Well, he's playing the best game he's ever played because he's never kicked seven in a game before. He has now. From the ball up. Lacroix got a free for too high. I and he'll line up for number eight. We've only just started the third term. We haven't seen anything like this for many years. He's got eight. Takes the contact. Tries to keep his feet. Strike knocked it out. Embley looks up. Where's Lacroix? There's Lacroix. He's not going for the banana. This is for number nine. Oh. Unbelievable. <laughs> Essendon had nine. Lacroix has nine. I mean, you, you never know when fans are unhappy what they'll do. Hams. Taking the game off. Lacroix got... on Fletcher. Jack Rewalt already a 10-goal game this year. This is for number 10 for Mark Lacroix. And he hits it like a sweet kiss. 10 goals. Another goal or two. Strike. Fletcher should cut it off. Paddy Ryder. Tries to get it back to Fletcher. Gave it to Lacroix. Wrong man. Hams. Lacroix. Prittis. Shoots it back. Lacroix. Don't tell me. Yes! What a goal. You're watching history unfold. He's got 11. Lacroix stuck on 11. Down to four minutes. Ooh. Big hip and shoulder on Marston by Love and Murray. Lynch got an arm free. Heads wide. Emily shorts it. Lacroix. One grab. Got it. Two. He's been exciting to watch tonight, Mark Lacroix. It's been great. The way he's positioned himself, I mean, as well as being a skillful footballer, he has an incredible football brain. Yeah. He reads the play just so beautifully well. And the way he's been striking the ball... I mean, there's a lot of body contact when he marked that ball there, mm -hmm. wasn't there? It wasn't just a hands out in front, easy mark. He got hit from the side, hit from in front. For a dozen. This Sharon has his DNA all over it. He has 12! Is it touched on the line? Or is it 12? History in the making. The most ever kicked at any hat stadium. Boys, I just congratulate him, and he just said, what happened there, Colby? But... Uh... <laughs> Lekka, 12 goals too, mate. You've actually broken a record and you're, you're actually pleading, but uh, an amazing game. Oh, mate, yeah, it was good. Uh, it's, yeah, still a bit, uh, bit shocked, mate, to be honest. But, um, yeah, the boys come out and 
played really well, played the style of footy that we wanted to play tonight, and it, it just yeah, it all, it all fell into place, mate. And what about yourself? Uh, you're just steering them in from the boundary. Uh, it was all happening, mate. It was fantastic to watch. Yeah, mate. I mean, I, a few lucky ones snuck through tonight. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. I was, I was just pretty pretty lucky, I suppose, with the, the accuracy tonight. Sometimes you do it and sometimes you don't, so pretty happy, mate. Well, certainly no luck, but how are you thinking uh, early in the game when the boys were missing some targets early? It's frustrating being a forward sometimes, but you got some nice ball tonight. Yeah, definitely. I mean, yeah, to come out early, we missed a couple of targets. They, they got in front by a couple of snags, but, um, I mean, we stuck with it and, uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's a popular young man down here, the Lecker. Um, I know your brother and uh, Bruno, he wouldn't have kicked uh, 12 goals in his life. And your old man, I don't know about him, but there'll be plenty of crayfish at home, I reckon. Yeah, I think they might have to sneak a few out of the freezer when we get home. But he, he's kicked 18 back at Savannah's, but uh, yeah, not, not, not a waffle or anything like that, so I've got him. Not an Eddie head, but uh, well done, mate. Congratulations, buddy. Cheers, mate.